Hello everybody, how are you doing? I am Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and today in this video we'll discuss the 5 easiest jobs to get in Canada. I know if you're a student or a new immigrant and you're looking for jobs, getting a job might be really difficult. So in this video we'll talk only about those jobs which are really easy to get because there are a huge number of requirements throughout the year and also for some of those jobs you would find that the interview is also very simple very easy so we'll talk about those jobs in this video if you're interested stay tuned oh and yes i forgot to tell that we'll also discuss about the salaries as well when i uploaded the top 10 in-demand jobs in canada in 2021 many people said that you should tell about the salaries as well so we will discuss about these salaries as well stay tuned Okay guys, all the five different types of jobs that we're going to discuss in this video, they're not arranged in any particular order that this one is number one at the easiest level or this one is at number five, okay? That being said, let me start with the IT jobs. Personally, I have been working in IT industry for more than 10 years now. So I know it very well from inside out. I'm not saying that it is very easy to crack an IT job interview. But what I'm saying is that IT jobs are in abundance across Canada. So the good thing about IT jobs is that they're everywhere. Let it be a bank or an insurance company or a healthcare industry or the airline industry or the pharmaceutical industry. Everyone needs a computer these days. Even the universities, schools, everywhere you would see that there's an IT department, right? Software is actually running in all the computers and support staff is needed. Maybe in the call center support staff is needed. Maybe if you're a developer, if you are in DevOps, if you are in testing, if you are a database admin, if you're in uh, a big data, wherever you are, you know, all these big banks, these big insurance companies, these uh, airlines, all of these actually need IT people. And you would see that their big offices only for IT people. So that's the beauty of an IT job. Consider yourself really lucky if you actually chose IT as your career. Okay, now talking about the salary, which is the very interesting part, right? So the salary actually differs from the one profile to the other. I am sure if you're from IT, you would understand that a developer would get a different salary, a project manager would get a different salary, somebody who's a DBA might get a different salary, somebody who's in DevOps, or maybe uh, who is a tester would get a different salary. But yes, generally, somebody who's just starting up can easily get $60,000, which is a really good salary, and somebody who's experienced might get $90,000 pretty easily. So that is what I'm talking about. On average, you can say that 70,000 to 80,000 you can crack easily if you have an international work experience in IT. And one more advantage, if you belong to the IT industry, you actually don't need a specialized certification or a specialized study, just like a lawyer would need or a dentist would need. If you have international work experience, all those rules are applicable here as well. You can straight away come here and you can get a job. Okay, I can probably talk about the IT industry and the prospects, the salary, for really long because I belong to that industry, but we have to talk about the other jobs as well. So the next one is the driver job. I'm talking especially about the truck driver job. So many people keep asking about it. And yes, it is a job which is in demand and it is a job which is available all over Canada. While driving on the highways, very often I've seen ads printed at the backside of the trucks that drivers are needed and they would get something around $23 per hour to $25 per hour or even $40 per hour. Depends where you're driving, what are the conditions. If let's say you're actually driving from Canada to US, then you would get much more money. If you're driving locally, let's say if you're driving within the city or from one province to the other, you would get good money as well, but not as compared to what an international truck driver would get. But yes, the prospects of a truck driver are really high because you only need a license. If you have that license, 
which means of course you can drive that truck it actually means that you certainly would have a job very easily because truck drivers are in demand like anything in Canada apart from that even if you're not a truck driver you know how to drive a car you have good prospects that you can at least drive an uber you can actually deliver food you can actually deliver packages for amazon and so on trust me many people actually drive an uber or deliver foods as their part-time job even when they're working in the it industry they actually use their evening time to drive an uber or deliver food or deliver some packages because those jobs are also flexible and because those jobs are in really high demand and all you need is the driving skill you'd actually would get that job very easily so if you work full time you can easily earn around four thousand dollars i know my friends who are doing it part time they're earning around two thousand dollars so driver jobs are really in high demand and are really easy to get. Okay, before I talk about the other jobs, I would like to take a moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people offering thousands of inspiring classes on topics including design, photography, web development, marketing, animation, creative writing, and the classes on so many other topics as well. After learning the video editing for my YouTube videos, now I've started learning about travel photography. And I've been learning these skills through the classes given by Dan Rubin. I love the way he explains all the small aspects of travel photography. So if you have that creative knack inside you, I would definitely recommend you going to Skillshare and checking out their classes. I'll provide a link in the description box below. The first thousand subscribers to click on that link will get a free trial to Skillshare Premium Membership so that now you can try it for free and explore your creativity. Okay, the next type of jobs I'm going to talk about are those jobs in the big box stores, in some of the grocery stores. You must have heard about those jobs in the Walmart, in Costco, in Canadian Tire, Home Depot, all these big stores. So all these stores have different kinds of job profiles for example someone who actually stocks up their aisles someone who is a cashier someone who is a customer service representative someone who's a greeter someone who's a team lead someone who's a manager many different kinds of job profiles in just one store because people actually keep moving in and moving out of these jobs so they're always available in every store Yes, the salary might be a little low because they usually offer the basic salary which is $14.25 in Ontario and which might differ from one province to the other. But the good thing is that their interviews are very easy to crack. For instance, if I give you the example of Walmart, when my friend went there, they only asked for his introduction, that too just to check his communication skills and then asked him to bring any particular product from Walmart and try to sell that to them. That was only for two or three minutes. So probably his interview was only for something around 10 minutes and that was very easy. He got a job very, very easily. So you know now it is very easy to get these kind of jobs, but yes, the con is that they don't offer very good salary. They offer the basic salary but yes that is still good for a student who's looking for a part-time job or someone who's just landed in canada and trying to find a job a survival job until he can get his core job okay now the next job is that of a customer service representative so if you're facing a problem in your phone maybe your internet connection or maybe in anything else you would just call the company that your service is not proper or you're facing this trouble or maybe you're facing some trouble with the billing or the account you can just call them and they will get that fixed for you so because of the pandemic so many people are staying back home and they're using technology more and more so of course they're facing problems as well so more people are needed for customer service as well now here we can also include those jobs which are sales on calls so basically you would be given some target, you'll have to sell some product or some service on call. Now the biggest advantage with these jobs is that 
they offer work from home so you don't actually have to step out of your home you're safe and at the same time you don't have to spend time and money in commuting to the office i say that these jobs are easy to get because this is one of the most in demand jobs in canada not just on calls you have a customer service representative to chat as well so these jobs are really in high demand and they also pay you more than the basic salary so sometimes they offer you $17, $20 or maybe even $25. So depending on your experience and your company, they do offer you different kinds of salaries as well. For the interviews, it is an added advantage if you have that work experience before you applied for the job, but it is certainly not mandatory. And that is the best part that this particular work experience is not required to apply for this job which makes it really easy to go for. Okay, before I talk about the last job, I'm sure that many people from different sectors would be thinking if my job is in that list or not. So here I would talk about um, two more sectors, healthcare sector and the sales and marketing sector. Now the healthcare sector, of course, the it is in high demand. After COVID-19, you know, everyone knows healthcare is in high demand, but because this video is about the easiest jobs to get so i'm not including those jobs here because they are not certainly easy to get but yes there are good number of vacancies and they're always in high demand especially after covid and the sales and the marketing sector as well the jobs are in high demand but because of lockdowns and you know all of these things happening retail stores have been getting closed and getting opened so obviously there are many people from the sales and marketing sector sometimes who are unemployed and obviously they would be hired first and then there would be other people who'd get hired so i won't talk about that the last job type that i want to talk which is quite easy to get is basically job in the food sector so all these outlets tim hortons mcdonald's kfc popoys and many other out there Getting a job there is fairly easy and you would always find vacancies in one store or the other. But just like the big box stores, you would generally find that they offer you basic salary, again, which is $14.25 in Ontario, and which would differ from one province to the other. Sometimes you'd feel that they're very high pressure jobs because the number of customers coming, you just can't take a breather. It's very difficult actually to uh, you know cope up with the work pressure. But yes, many students and you know all those people who are looking for a survival job actually do opt for those jobs because they're quite easy to get. Without any prior experience, you can easily crack a job interview. A job interview is basically to test your communication skills and just to test if you would be able to handle the pressure. Also, if you'd be able to work overnight, then your chances of getting those jobs would be even more increased. So that's it guys. Those were the jobs that I found were really easy to find because they are in high demand. And as I told you, for some of those jobs, cracking the interview is also fairly simple and also no prior experience is required. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. If you find it useful, you can share it with your friends. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button because I regularly keep bringing important videos like these for you. Thanks again for watching this video.